In this video, we are going to convert a matrix into rho echelon form and reduced rho echelon form. We are going to study the difference. Okay. So first of all, when you get a question like this, the conditions for rho echelon form. First non-zero number in a row should be 1. So this is row 1, this is row 2 and this is row 3. First non-zero number. First non-zero number. Here it is 1. The condition is satisfied. And in this row, there are no non-zero values. All values are 0. Okay. Now in third row, the first non-zero value. This is 0. This is non-zero. So the first non-zero value should be 1. That condition is also satisfied. Okay. Now the second condition. Non-zero rows are above rows having only zeros. So this is the row which have only zero. Non-zero rows are above that. So non-zero rows are above rows having only zero. So in, to convert this matrix into row echelon form, we must interchange R2 and R3. So our new R2 will be R3 will be interchanged. Okay. So new R2 will be 0, 1, 3, and 4. And R3 will be 0, 0, 0, and 0. Then R1, it is like that itself. 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now check here. The first non-zero value in a row is 1. The first non-zero value in a row is 1. And the rows, non-zero rows, non-zero rows are above rows having only 0. This is a row having only 0. Non-zero rows are above that. So this is row echelon form. Now in reduced row echelon form, the first two conditions are same like in row echelon form and we are having one more condition that is leading element in any row must be the only non-zero value in that column. So leading element of this row is 1 and leading element of this row is 1. The leading element in any row must be the only non-zero value in that column. So we need to consider the column. So this is the leading element of row 1. Consider that column. That value should be the only non-zero value. If you are considering the column which have the leading element 1, leading element 1, this is the leading element of row 1. We are considering the column which is having the leading element. Must be the only non-zero value. That should be the only non-zero value in that column and all other values should be 0. So the condition is satisfied here. Now, the second row, the leading element is this one. And we are going to consider that column. That column will be 1, 0 and 2. According to the condition, the leading element should be the only non-zero value. All other values should be 0. But here it is not 0. Here it is 2. So we need to convert this 2 into 0. For that, we need to do operation in row 1. What operation we should do? We need to make this element as 0. So R1 minus R2. Okay. And before R2 we need to put 2. 2 R2. Then only we will get 0. Because R1 the element is 2. Then minus R2 the element is 1. 1 should be multiplied with 2. Then it will become 2. So 2 minus 2 it will become 0. Write this 2 R2 somewhere in order to avoid confusion. So 2 R2. 2 into 0 it will be 0. 2 into 1, it will be 2. 2 into 3, it will be 6. 2 into 4, it will be 8. So this is our new R2 or 2 R2. Then R1 should be subtracted with this. So 1 minus 0, it will be 1. Then 2 minus 2, it will be 0. 3 minus 6, it will be minus 3. 4 minus 8, it will be minus 4. So this is our new R1. Now R2, it is same like that. And R3, it is also same. Now check the condition. The first non-zero, the first non-zero number in a row should be 1. That condition is satisfied. The non-zero rows are above, rows having only 0. Then leading element in any row must be the only non-zero value in that column. So leading element, this is 1. That is the only non-zero value in this column. Leading element, this is 1. That should be the only non-zero value in that column. Here there are no leading element. So this is reduced rho echelon form. This is simply rho echelon form and this is the matrix. Now check this matrix. The first 
we are going to convert this matrix into echelon form and reduced row echelon form. So the first condition is first non-zero number in the row should be one. First non-zero number in the row is one. The first non-zero number in the row here it is not one. This is zero, this is zero, but this is two. First non-zero value in the row should be one. So for converting this matrix into row echelon form, we must convert this value into one. So this value belongs to second row. So we should multiply R2 with 1 by 2. So 2 into 1 by 2, it will become 1. So our radio, row echelon form will be 1, 1, 2 and 0, 0, 1. So this will be our row echelon form. Now to converting this into reduced row echelon form, the two conditions must be satisfied. And the third condition is that the leading element, check the leading element. So in the first row, the leading element is this one and check the column, column having the leading element, okay, column having the leading element, the leading element should be the only non-zero value in that column, so here the condition is satisfied, here the condition is satisfied, now the second row, the first non-zero value, or the non-zero value, that is 1, and check the column, the column it is 1 and 2, according to the condition, the leading element should be the only non-zero value in that column, but here, there is a value 2. So we need to convert this 2 into 0. And this 2 belongs to which row? First row. So we are going to do operation in first row. What operation we should do? R1 minus 2 R2. So first row will become 1 minus 0. 1 minus 0 it will be 1 itself. Then 1 minus 0 it will be 1. 2 minus 2 R2. R2 it is 1. 1 into 2 it will become R1 it is 2 minus R2 it is 1. So 1 into 2 it will become 2. So 2 minus 2 it will become 0. So this will be our new R1 and R2 it is like this. So now the condition is satisfied. The column having the leading element have only the leading element value. All other values should be 0. Here also the column having the leading element column. The column having the leading element only that value should be there. All other values should be 0. So this is the matrix, this is the echelon form and this is the reduced row echelon form.